Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Views. It's the last beer in my Northern Monk subscription box for October. And we're going to round it off with this bad boy. This is Northern Monk's Death. This is the 2023 um, version. Um, I th it's 12% ABV. And I'm pretty sure it's battle aged. Yes, it is. It says on the front. Northern Monk's Death, battle aged, Imperial Stout, 12%. There, in the writing, it's what I can read. Death has returned. Okay. So it says, uh, Death has aged, 12% battle aged, Imperial Stout, as serious as the name it carries. This is dark. This is all-consuming, a liquid as black as night. Your soul belongs to death. And then, you know, look at the, the, the can art. There's a skull in the hills. Again, another skull in the hills. And there, as we scan across, is the word death. I had the 2022 version of this, and I think I had the 2021 version of this. And it was absolutely stonkingly good. I um, don't know what to expect from this. I know it's been battle aged. I don't know what it's been battle aged in. Let's have a little, actually, let's have a look at the crib sheet here. Let's see what it says. Doesn't say what it's been. It's been um, battle aged in. Bourbon, probably. Whiskey, maybe. Rum, probably not. Sherry, probably not. Madeira, probably not. So we'll, uh, we'll just see. We'll just see. So let's pop a top and let's see what we've got. Now, I've got two more of these. Um, this was released as a four pack. Um, and I didn't want to take a chance on the way the subscription box is working, where they will pick and select what you drink and what you don't get in your box. I didn't want to take a chance on, on this. So I bought a four pack and I split it. Give a good make, Kev. I don't know if you can hear that. What? Fireworks. Have a wait. Right, so, we're in glass, what have we got? Again, jet black. I've put the torch to it, but I don't think it's going to do anything. Yeah, absolutely not. Um, and we've got half a finger of tanned, rapidly dissipating head. It looks really cool. There he does. Look at the nose. Boozy. There's no way getting away from that. It's boozy. It smells like bourbon barrels. It smells bourbon barrels. Oh, it looks like a whiskey barrel. It smells. There's alcohol there. You get this alcohol in the nose. You're getting most of malt in there as well. Maybe a little bit of dark chocolate in there. It smells fab. It smells fab. absolutely fabulous. Let's go. For a body combination. Cheers, my dears. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 that's good. Oh, that's boozy. That's good. That is good, good, good. That's excellent. So, body. Now again, I thought this was going to be thick, oily, velvety, and it's not. It's it's medium bodied, but it's still oily. It's still velvety. It's still really smooth. It coats your palate really nicely. I don't know why I'm doing all this. It's not like I do kind of Tai Chi or anything like that. Um, but it works really well. Carbonated, nice and soft. Lovely. Right, let's top her up. Go for it. Let's go with a big taste. Cheers, everybody. Oh. 
That is beautiful. That is one of the best things that Northern Monk have released this year. Without a shadow of a doubt. That is stunning. It's got we'll start at the back end and we'll work our way forwards. It's got a, it's got a, a bitter dry finish that builds as the beer goes down. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I am up front. There's there's roasted malt. There's bitter dark I, I, I can only assume it's bitter dark chocolate. It's bitter. There's a little hint of sweetness that just kind of pulls it back a little bit, but then it just carries on going. Barrel-wise, I think it tastes like it's a bourbon barrel. But it would if that was a whiskey barrel, it would be hang on. It could be a whiskey barrel actually. That could be a whiskey barrel. There's a little, there's definitely a little bit of booze on the back end. I suppose the, the bourbon, but sometimes the bourbon barrel, I get a sweetness. I get an oaky and a woodiness. I'm not getting that with this. I'm just getting alcohol vapor, which makes me think it might be a whiskey barrel. But either way, that is just glorious. Glorious. And I'm glad, I'm glad I've got two. So, but age both, and next year when another monk produced the twenty twenty four version, I'll do a side by side comparison with the twenty twenty three version. <sighs> That's lovely. It's boozy. Twelve percent. It's hard to hard to hide. At twelve percent. I think the only people I know who can who can hide that booziness is Wonder Beyond. If I'm being honest. Maybe vocation, maybe overtone. That's lovely. And just as an aside, um, am I right in hearing that overtone, uh, overtone, that wonder beyond have moved onto the continent, moved into either Belgium or Holland? Am I, am I hear that correctly? I know they changed their, their I know they changed their um, business model. They're gonna, th they're gonna throw out. The odd beer here and there, but I, I, someone told me that, that they'd moved to the continent. To move, I think it's Holland. They've moved to Holland or moved, they moved to Belgium or Holland, something like that. Let me know. Start commenting. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this review up. This is Northern Monk's Death, twenty twenty three, battle aged version, battle aged Imperial Stout, twelve percent. Do I like it? Yes. Will I buy it again? Yes. I've got two cans to put away. Will I recommend to friends? Without a shadow of a doubt, it is brilliant. The only, one, the only person I wouldn't recommend it to is, is Michael. And you've seen Michael on here. Black, the dark beard. Here. Michael. Yeah. Doesn't like stouts. Doesn't like coffee. Doesn't like... Well, likes... Doesn't like stouts. Um... You wouldn't like this. But everybody else that I know, friends, yes, of course you would. Um, so yeah, so like it, buy it, yes, yes, yes. Recommend to friends, absolutely I would. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the Another Monk website where you can buy this beer and you can buy it in a four pack at the time we put this video. Do that, read the video. If you don't, subscribe down there. I'll see you in the next one. Stay alert, stay safe, drink good beer. Leo.